Well, Jordan Bartlett, they call him the Master Chief. Fighting out of Glory MMA, he's fighting out of New York. He has a 2-0 record. His last fight, he was able to handle the early pressure coming at him from Jay Nallier very, very well. He has power, fantastic boxing, fantastic athleticism for his height. He is six foot four. Both these guys fighting at heavyweight, and every time that Jordan Bartlett fights, it's always a highlight. Man, a few words, but he did say that he's ready to put on a special performance tonight. Every time he steps into the cage, there's fireworks. Here we go as he makes his way over to the cage now. And you're gonna see just how tall this guy is. Avenando Francisco, they call him the Mexican Savage. Sitting at one and one. He's fought in Newburgh once before in an MMA bout. He was able to get the finish. Looking to tackle on one more tonight. He fights out of Bauer Flex Gym in Connecticut. Sent out a number of athletes tonight. And he's moving down in weight to take on his opponent. He's coached by the always great Randall Rowe. And both these guys heavy hitters. So expect to finish. But the thing that makes Jordan Bartlett so special, he has fantastic boxing, right? Stays behind his jab, very good knees. He utilizes his range beautifully. Extremely technical, great defense, right? He never leaves himself exposed. There is a reason this young man is 2-0. and And by the way, six foot four, upwards of 200 pounds, He's only 18 years old, so an athletic specimen in every sense of the word. Ladies and gentlemen, this next fight is scheduled for three two-minute rounds. The referee in charge of the action, Chris Romulo. First, introducing and fighting into the blue corner, stands at six foot four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Under glory MMA, out of Queens, New York, Jordan Master Chief Marlin. And his opponent, standing and fighting out of the red corner, stands at six foot even, weighing in at 209 pounds. Under Team Savage out of Waterbury, Connecticut, Avendano El Salvaje Francisco. Oh, this is gonna be a good one, I'm nervous. And there's a reason they call him the Master Chief, mark my words. All right, here we go. And you see already Bartlett just taking pressure, using it, using that boxing. And this Avenando is, is not handling this well. He cannot allow himself to keep getting picked apart like this. And another thing that makes Bartlett so deadly is he gets out in the kicking range, right? Gets out in the kickboxing range, and then he's attacking you with kicks. Interesting decision by the referee. Chris Romulus, I mean, of course, a lot of tutelage in the game, but interesting call. I guess he was seeing a lot of unanswered shots there, but Avenando able to answer the count, and Bartlett just walking him down with bombs. Nice leg kicks out of Bartlett, too. And he's right there for that knee. That's part of his length, right? Is He'll tie clinch guys, and his knee is just right in their midsection, right? It, it just makes perfect sense physicality-wise. Bartlett's corner calling for a left kick to the head. And Jordan can kind of just keep his opponent at range with that jab hand, too. You'll see he po pokes it out there and will hold physically hold his opponent there to mount his own offense. Avenando just walking into the range of Bartlett, though. And Bartlett throwing knees. And, and this could be, this, this fight could be stopped if Avenano does not. Yep. That's another one. That's another 10 count. And the crowd not happy, but it is important to mention that if we see three standing eight counts in one round, that could be the end of the fight. And four in the entirety of the fight, that will be the contest. So Avenando able to make it seemingly to round number two, but only has two knockdowns or standing eight counts left. 
and you see what makes Jordan Bartlett so special. Hulking specimen of a guy and moves like he's a middleweight. Must be a lot of home crowd support for Avenando Francisco because that crowd was not happy at referee Crystal Romulus. But honestly, I, he was taking a lot of unanswered shots. And if you are a referee, you want to make the decision that sometimes won't be the most popular, but will keep the athlete's best interest in mind. And I think that's what Chris Romulus does best. Avenando's corner calling for big looping shots over the top. Not sure that's the best idea, matching the pressure and the pace of Bartlett, because that's part of what makes him so dangerous, is if you fight his fight, you're not going to win. He's just too long. He's too tall. He's too athletic. And I show respect between two of these gentlemen. And then you see the elasticity in the hips of Bartlett, throwing all types of different <laughs> weird kickboxing techniques that he shouldn't be able to throw when he's 6'4", but he just is because he's so athletic. Nice switch knee in there. And Jordan, Jordan's corner, I should say, calling for that left knee when he's on the inside. There you go, see it's right there. Bartlett just wearing down too. To have a guy at 6'4", leaning down on you like that in the clinch, that's gotta be tiring as well. And I, I think we could see a finish here. Bartlett pouring on the pressure yet again. Romulus right there. He's gonna stop it if he doesn't see something out of Avenando Francisco. Francisco though firing back. And Bartlett's getting a little bit too wild. It's a nice teeth out of Bartlett following his corner's advice. And what? I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know about that one. And I'm by no means a referee or a judge, but was that a fight ending? Sequence? No, I, I don't think so. I think you could have let that go on. Especially because, and we could get the replay in a second, especially because Francisco was kind of fighting his way back into that. He was having a little bit more success. And referee just having a word with him there. I think as a referee, you should be open to talking to guys after you stop the fight, right? Guys should have a chance to kind of make their case. But as I promised, a finish. It's always a finish. As Jordan Bartlett advances to 3-0. and Sort over to Steve in the cage. Fighters, please come to the center of the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for your winner by way of the referee stopping the fight at one minute, 19 seconds in the second round. Fighting out of the blue corner, Jordan Master Chief Barlett. And a finish is a finish, doesn't matter how you come by it. So a great third showing by this young and talented athlete who most certainly has a bright career ahead of him. Said that last time in K-Series and it rings true yet again.